Thank you for coming to Mr. Hammonds' office, and today's topic is tips for filling out college applications. The yellow sticky note with red tape says tip number one. The first tip is start early and know the deadlines. You want to start early in the college application process. Don't wait until you're close to that deadline. You want to be able to take your time. Go ahead and look now. Find the college that you may be interested in and go ahead and look at their deadlines. Seek the career that you want and the college that matches that career and find out when their college applications are due and go ahead and start now. Trust me, we see so many students come in at the last minute trying to get things done, so start early. If you're wondering when things are due, if you go to the university websites under admissions, most websites will provide you a calendar to let you know when things are due so you can jump on this process early and not be late. You know what? I've never really considered the worm in this saying. Hmm. The human hand in the formation of two fingers sticking up in this instant does not mean peace. It means next is tip number two. Number two seems so plain and simple, but read the instructions. Most college universities do a good job on the page for how to apply to show you every step to apply. So the first thing you need to do is read all the instructions. Don't read the first one and just start there. Go ahead and read the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Get a good sense of the total process so you'll know how to continue. Please read the instructions. And when you go to the university website, the community college website, you'll always find how to apply and a lot of the instructions will be there for you. I went to the website of one of our local universities, Federal State University, and I noticed the wonderful instructions they have to complete an application. Tip, extra tip, extra tip. If you make an account for anything, please keep up with your username, password. Very important. But you must follow those instructions. The third step is simple, answer the questions and provide all the information required. You'll be surprised at how many students have an application that causes a problem because they don't answer all the questions. You'll be surprised how many applications we as counselors look over and remind the student, you forgot this here, you didn't put that there. Take your time, see what it's asking for and answer the questions. Tip on essays. Answer the questions that the essays are asking. You'll be surprised how many students write essays that are beautiful but have nothing to do with the question. So read the instructions and do what the instructions say. Answer the questions. The fourth tip that will help you with college applications is proofread, proofread, and one more thing. Proofread again. Good gracious. Go through your stuff and proofread. Let somebody else read. Let somebody else read. Another set of eyes on it. You need people to notice your mistakes. It is very easy for you and I to write and write and write and for you and I to read and not recognize that we have made a mistake. So proofread. Here's an example for you. Somebody didn't proofread this picture. And what we're doing because of the comma is telling the baby seals to stop going to the club. You know that's not true. Somebody didn't proofread the cover of this magazine. Because of no comma, is Rachel Ray going to actually cook her dog? Proofreading is very important. Because someone didn't proofread this sign and the period's in the wrong place, they actually finish kind of rude. Here's a final example. Proofread because punctuation can actually save grandpa. The last tip I'm going to give you today, there'll be more coming, but lots of college applications require a recommendation. 
What you want to do about a recommendation is, number one, give the recommender plenty of time. Start early. Give them plenty of time. Number two, be careful who you choose to write a recommendation for you. It is good to use somebody who knows you, who has some experience with you. Number three, if you use someone like your counselors or your teachers or somebody from the community who doesn't really know you that well, provide them with information that they need. You should give them a resume. You should include in that resume your future career goals, what you'd like to do in the future, why you want to go to college. Also, you can give them a mission statement, or if you have to write for a scholarship or a college, a little description of yourself, you can provide that also. The more information you provide, the better. Another good idea is to provide if you've been through a hardship while you've been in high school. What is a hardship? Did your family go through a difficult time? Were you in a car accident? Was there a death in the family? Did you get sick? Was there a time you didn't make the team? Were you just down and depressed and you overcame that? That is also something great to give a recommender to let them know. So the more information you provide for them is helpful and start early in the process. We as counselors have this happen all the time where students come in and say, Mr. Hammonds, will you give me a recommendation and it's actually due the next day. So plan early. Hope these tips help you out. Get started on your future.